Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, this is Offbeat Motors. I'm Corey, and before we get into the video, the first thing I want to talk to you guys about, because I think it's very, very important, um, there have been a lot of recalls on airbags in just about a most manufactured vehicles nowadays and I think it's really important that you guys go to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration's website run just run your VIN number and see if you have any open recalls it's really important that you guys get those uh, airbags checked and um, replaced if needed um, I'm pretty sure most of the recalls are replacements um, we have a saying where I work it's uh, don't risk it fix it because um, it could be your life or somebody in your family's life that you save so don't mess around with that uh, if you're not sure like I said just go to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration's website it's free to run your VIN number and it's going to tell you if you have any open campaigns then just contact your dealership that's closest to you for you that manufacturer um, and see about getting it done um, I know a lot of these have been actually extended to cars from the 90s so don't think that uh, just because you're driving around in a uh, older you know 1990s style vehicle that uh, you're not going to be involved because um, I know Toyota has just expanded it, Subaru's expanding it, uh, I think Honda has expanded it so um, yeah just check it better safe than sorry and you won't you won't regret checking it especially if you find out if you have an airbag so like we say don't risk it fix it. Now with that little spiel over with let's get on to the purpose of this video this is uh, video number two. Um, it's a continuation of my wife's 2014 Chevy Cruze. In particular, the pesky check engine light. This thing just does not like to go away. Uh, if you remember in the last video, um, I was working on it because I had uh, code for P0171, which is a lean condition. Uh, I did some Googling on the internet and found that uh, the most common problem with this is a valve that's on top of the valve cover. It's a vent valve. If you put your finger over it, it changes the tune of the engine, you can hear it sucking in air, and when it's doing that, it's not working properly. Well, that's exactly what was happening, happening with this. Um, and the pro uh, byproduct of that is the car was stumbling. It wasn't running properly. The check engine light was on. The gas mileage sucked, uh, comparatively speaking, to what it's supposed to be. So uh, it, the valve cover was also leaking oil. So I went ahead and changed the valve cover and um, thought I fixed the vehicle. It ran great for a few days. Check engine light did not come on. Well, well, Chevy being a Chevy. Uh, check engine light came back on and it was the same code P0171 came back and I immediately thought oh great the valve cover that I put on is bad so I started looking it over and I couldn't find any places where the air could get in because even if the o-ring on the dipstick is bad it can cause the same code a lean condition because air is getting in there um, I couldn't find anything like that so I did some more googling and I found a, another problem that's um, reported with a lot of owners of these 1.4 liter turbo Chevrolet motors. There's a PCV valve that goes bad on these. Um, so I spent 100 bucks on the valve cover because the vent valve is not replaceable separate from the valve cover. Turns out that was only part of the problem. The PCV valve is the, another part of the problem that was also bad. Um, and you're thinking is probably just run down to O'Reilly's, AutoZone, or whatever auto parts store it is that you have close to you and just pick up a PCV valve for 10 to 20 bucks, put it in the car, boom, you're on your way. Well, Chevy being Chevy and in their infinite wisdom, for whatever reason, they decided to take this PCV valve and make it a non-serviceable part. So in order to replace this valve, you have to purchase a freaking manifold. The intake manifold to be precise which is ridiculous so but if you do some searching there's some other ways around this and um that's what i'm going to show you today i'm going to show you how to permanently fix the chevy cruise uh if you so if you have one that's right around 2014 with this 1.4 liter turbo i don't know if this issues on any of the other ones but um i'm going to show you how to permanently fix this so you will never have this problem again and it's real simple it's real easy and i can't believe i didn't figure this out to begin with but uh i figured it out now and even if you're not a chevrolet owner or a cruise owner that has this problem and you're just checking out the video stay tuned because you're going to want to see this too because you may be able to apply this to other vehicles so 
let's get down there and I'll show you exactly what we're going to do to fix this car permanently. So this is how you fix a 2014 Chevy Cruze. You replace it with a Lexus. Uh, yeah, that's right. This is uh, my wife's new car, and it's been fabulous. We've had it for a few months. I actually got it back in December, and I'm just now making the video. Um, but yeah, the check engine light came back on on that thing, so uh, I got sick and tired of working on it. Every time you turn around, that thing's just, you're throwing money at it. It wasn't worth it anymore, and I didn't see the sense in keeping it around. So um, we decided to go with a Lexus. This is a used Lexus. It's a certified pre-owned 2017 uh, this is a IS200T, which means this particular car comes with the um, two-liter turbo, which is good for like 100, and, or not 100, but 241 horsepower, which may not sound like a lot, but when her previous car was 130-something horsepower, when she jumped into this, she instantly noticed the difference. Um, it's a lot more comfortable than the old car. Uh, it's a lot, a lot more tech and everything else involved. It has home link, so you can program it to your garage doors, gate to the community, whatever it may be. Uh, safety connect. Uh, you believe you have to pay for that and whatnot. It does have navigation, but you have to have the Intune system, I believe it's called, which we're not signed up for yet. It was still under the previous owner's name, so we haven't been able to do that yet. I'm uh, just waiting for that to get updated so I can do that. This particular car has um, lane keep, which if you're going down the road and you start, it senses you're going out of your lane, it will actually put you back in your lane. It has the um, radar, LIDAR, whatever hell it is, cruise control to keep the distance to the car in front of you. Um, yeah, it's got the blind spot monitoring out there so you know, hey, hi Challenger, how you doing girl, you filthy little girl, you big girl, whatever you want to call it. But it has blind spot monitoring. Um, it's full of tech, way more tech than her old car. And it's it's fabulous. This is one of the best features of this car, heated and cool seats. I had this ability to get this on my Challenger, but I um, decided not to go with it. And now that we have the Lexus that has this, man, do I wish I would have gotten it. So, yeah, if, if you ever are thinking about cooled seats, do it. It's awesome. 2017, still had a CD changer or a CD player. That's crazy. Um, that's the screen up there, which... Um, Yep, the instrument cluster says IS in the center of it. Yeah, I really like this clock. Um, during the day it's black, but at night it's white. It's really cool, I like that. Um, yeah, and she's got her paddle shifters because it does have manual mode. Um, here's the dial selector. Snow mode, traction control. Uh, here's your audio controls to go between the modes and stuff like that. Um, this has got to get fixed because it's starting to peel. But like I said, it's a 2017 certified pre-owned. That's going to get fixed. Um, I really, I don't know if you can see it that well. But yeah, this piano black, I kind of like it. It's a bitch to keep clean, but it's really nice to have. And uh, all around, it's great. Sunroof, heat and cool leather seats. Plenty of room for the kid back there great car and most importantly she absolutely loves it um, and like I said it's a certified used car which means I don't have to work on it which isn't too bad but you know it's a good car um, 0 to 60 is right around 6.6 .6 seconds in case you wanted to know um, this particular car they only made it for two years um, well they didn't really make it for two years they called it the IS 200 T for two years 2016 and 17 after that it became the IS 300 which now if you look at a 300 IS 300 it has the same motor as this which is the uh, um, 2 liter turbo motor so uh, this is what we replaced it with um, got some few plans already in the works for it uh, another video is going to be coming out soon of a modification in fact it's our first modification um, one of the things I'm looking at it's not the next video but one of the things we're looking at is possibly getting a catback exhaust because right off the bat when she drove it she said it was very quiet which this car is very quiet, and she wants something that with a little more growl behind it. Now, obviously, it's a four-cylinder turbo, so it's not going to have a. It's not going to be extremely loud like my Challenge or anything like that. But she wants something, so we're going to see what we can do about getting her something that sounds a little better. In the meantime, 
Uh, I got a couple of small things planned until that happens because I'm not sure what exhaust system I'm going to go with. Um, being a 2017, um, some of the ones that I was looking at aren't going to fit it because of the exhaust tips are different. So, But that's here nor there. I'll find something, and um, I'm sure she'll be happy with it. So, um, yeah, that's how you guys fix the Chevy Cruze because don't ever buy one of those. Those things are junk. And I uh, hope you guys liked the video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, like the video if you do like it. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time around. Peace out.